I'm <laughs> Jack, I'm still recording you twice. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> so what Jack was trying to say there is So uh, Carlock has sent us this Carlock. Um <laughs> what does it do, Rusty? <laughs> Let me just read it. Now what it does is it's so uh, basically it's a security system for your car. So it plugs into the OBD2, OBD2 and what it does is it actually allows you to monitor your car so it's like a GPS. So if somebody was to steal this piece of shit, <laughs> they'd be very brave. However, um, what it does is it allows you to track it from your phone using the app. Uh, it's compatible with uh, Apple and Android. So we're going to test this and it says the advanced real-time car tracker and alert system. It's like a GPS on steroids. So <laughs> we're going to find out. So apparently it's a virtual mechanic as well. So we all know what they're like. Usually pretty shit when they're keyboard warriors. But this might actually be good <laughs> so we're going to plug it in it says it tracks everything so like your battery drain and all that sort of stuff we're going to go through all that and see everything uh, that it actually does and make sure it works well it says on the back monitor, monitor your teenager yeah i'm guessing it's for parents that buy the free car i'm i'm not a teenager no, i'm not i'm not saying you're a teenager what the? how many you got in the boot <laughs> we ain't going in the boot today <laughs> okay right never mind cut that you got the obd extender <laughs> So they do actually give you an OBD2 extender. Um, so a lot of people are worried about it being stolen and things like that. So this makes it so you can hide it somewhere else. So you can plug this into your OBD2 port, plug this in the other end and you can actually hide it somewhere else. So that is a lot of concern with a lot of people with this product, but you can get this, which they've kindly provided for us. It is a monthly subscription for this as well, um, as far as I'm aware, but apparently we have a monthly subscription in here so we can test it. Um, and figure out what's what. So yeah, we'll give you all the details as much as we possibly can. If you want car lock, I'm going to put it all in the description and make sure you head there, give it a try. Jack, just watch out for Jurassic Park behind you. Shit. Right, so this is what we get on the inside. Inside of the package, that does not make sense. This is what you get in the package. The cable we show. There we go, a box, a bigger box. No, it's a smaller box. Break the seal. Hello. So, oh, don't show them that. That's our code, naughty, naughty. So this is literally it. Give me that. There we go. So this is it. So this is what you are plugging in. It says car lock on the back, which is nice, with a gel badge on it. That is lovely. Um, so, yeah, we've got some instructions with the user's guide. We're gonna sit there and read through this or we're going to be like real men and just ignore it and then wing it as we go along. I think that one. <laughs> so we're going to actually experiment and see how easy this is to install without the instructions. So I did throw the instructions away for a reason because to me, if something's so simple and easy to install, you shouldn't need instru instructions and everybody likes a simple life, let's be honest. So um, Jack's going to start screen recording, which you'll see on the screen right now. Um, so, whilst he's screen recording, he has downloaded the CarLock app, and in this CarLock app, it's going to go through and show you everything that's going off. So Jack's going to read some bits out that so obviously it's telling you to do, um, and things, and you're going to see it on the screen just as we're doing it. So you can see this, uh, CarLock security features are now active, orange circle enable the notification to receive alerts about your car. So does this mean we're going to see a little toy car? Yeah. I'm hoping you can pick what the car looks like because if not I'm gonna be fuming <laughs> I'm gonna be fuming so um, the car will now start and move outside of the monitored area press start to begin the simulation so let's continue so apparently your RDA4 has started its engine <laughs> do not have an RDA4 uh, you get notified after the car's engine was started and when the vehicle is moved outside the monitored area. So this is basically showing you that um, the car, if the car is stolen, it will alert you into the fact that it is moving. So notice that the monitored area stayed where you enable the security. You need to clear the alarm to reset 
um, the monitored area to current car's location. Clear the alarm and reset the monitored area. So just as a note as well, we've not actually used uh, the, well we've used the extension, but we're not actually putting it where it needs to go just because of the fact that you will all know where it is. <laughs> so good job. There are times you didn't know <laughs> You don't want to get alerts about the car movement. You can simply disable the security features to avoid unwanted alerts. Tap the orange lock button to disable the security. Security is now disabled. Uh, green circle and your car can be used without triggering security alerts. Okay, so that's pretty good. So you can actually turn that off and on. So if you park your car up in Tesco or McDonald's car park in our case, uh, then you can turn your alert on and make sure there's no 13 year olds jumping in the boot. So that's uh, a, a fair way of doing that. <clears throat> so this is like a little tutorial, isn't it? I mean, that car's moving, but we're not. So I'm guessing this is just a video. Yeah. And I'm guessing the IDA4 is just a guess. Limit. Apparently this is a teen driving. So teen driving notifies you about any bad driving behavior. This functionality is enabled by default and can be disabled in the settings. <clears throat> you can quickly reset the map position and zoom level to the default setting by tapping the bottom right button excuse me <coughs> so tap the bottom right button you have to actually press the button jack <laughs> you have successfully completed the car lock demo please remember you need to start need the car lock device or car lock to work with your car Tap the button below to start exploring the car lock app or get more information about the car lock experience. So, we're going to explore. Yeah. So, so far, it seems to be quite simple to set up, although we are not at St. James's Park in London. Ah. So, we're going to go ahead, stop this screen record, and we're going to set up this account right now and let you know how easy that was to actually get into it. Screen record is on, so we've we've set up with some personal information. That's why um, we've just stopped that off there. But so it's saying learning mode in progress. It says to read more. So it says go for a drive to get a valid GPS location. So that is exactly what we're going to do. So Jack's going to take it for a drive. We're going to leave this up on the screen to see how easy it connects, um, and then go from there. So you'll be seeing this live as we are as well. So it says. Today, 12.21, Jack, you were doing 20 kilometers an hour. I do not think so. Um, so that's come with notification. Device connected. Okay, that's fine, yeah, that's that's what it should be. So, if we keep going. Oh, oh, we've moved. No. Pull up, Jack, it's done it. It's done it. it. It's fucking done it. Should we so, go back into the car park? <laughs> yeah, let's turn back round, go back into the car park. Um, See if it recognises us turning around or not. Oh, it's moving. Our RDA 4 is on the move. We need to change that. No, I'm, I'm going to be disappointed if we can't change that logo. That car. If we can't change that car, I'm going to be fuming. So it's not registered that we've turned around or anything yet. It is how it... Oh, you know it is. It's registered that we've turned around. So we're going backwards the other way. We're going to go back to the car park. We're going to do some tests on this and see what is what. Jack's going to go through some bits on here. Um, you can see the screen record. We should be able to see the screen record on the screen. I'm hoping that we don't have an editing issue. Um, so you should be able to see the screen record on the screen, like I said. So that's picked up where we are. That's showing where the location is. Don't come and try and find us because we're not going to be here after this. So uh, Jack's just having a... Ah play about now Jack what are you done I don't know we'll, we'll not we'll not go on that we'll go back to the right <coughs> we're not in Nigeria god everybody can see where we are this is this is scary stuff you know everybody can actually see the location I don't think you can change it what you can't change the you can't change the car what's that lock button Right, so you locked it, so that'll notify you if anything goes wrong, yeah? Oh. So, what's this? Driving, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we won't be using that. 
Uh, oh, va battery voltage, that's pretty good. Okay, so this is what it was talking about um, when it said that it's a um, virtual mechanic. So it's, it's taking on board your battery percent. Battery percent, battery voltage. Um, what else is on this app? Um, so device connected. Car log tag disabled. Right. Okay, that's, I don't know what that is. Car lock tag is disabled. If you have a car lock tag device, enable the car lock tag and follow the instructions. Uh, yeah, instructions, we don't need them. So, we don't have all them, do we? What instructions? No, the tag. Uh, probably in the instructions, but we'll, I don't think not. We'll come back to that. So what's all this? Uh, notifications. Harsh driving disabled. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They don't want to see me know what you're going to have to blank that out, pal. <laughs> what? The phone number's on here. <laughs> Right, okay, I'll blank that out. Uh, so, can you edit the car? Can you actually edit the car? Is that what you wanted to know? Yeah, this is this is the selling point for me right now. Like, if you can edit that car, amazing. I'll get to that. So, Jack's just going through some options, like you can see on the screen. Um, it's just playing about, seeing what's what, uh, and see what you can see, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick test. Like I said, this may be a little bit of a longer video, but we want to test it properly and make sure it's, everything is... A okay. So that is actually just registered that the vehicle has moved. It sent us a notification as well saying that the car had been moved. So it's actually telling us that somebody's in the car driving it. It's giving me on a on a big alert. It's also sent us a voicemail. Oh wow. Okay, so that's actually pretty good. That's actually really good, isn't it, to be honest. Yeah. Because that it's shown where the car's going as you can see on the screen uh, we are driving the car ourselves <laughs> but that was obviously after putting it in lock mode so what we did is we turned the car off uh, closed all the doors locked the car and then put it in lock mode that way just because obviously you wouldn't put it in lock mode while you're still driving it so it made sense to be honest but it was a good test to actually do like like we meant to do it promise uh, we didn't but actually all in all so it's telling you where it actually is it's saying that we're on 33 beach hill drive in mansfield it's tracking the car's location so now it's seven debdale lane <coughs> so it's actually telling us exactly where we are and we are actually outside number seven debdale lane oh we're at number five's there number seven's there so we actually are like outside over there so seven five which is actually pretty good um so that's actually showing us everything we need to know so all in all, it seems to be a pretty damn good app, to be honest, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, I'm sure it does some other things, but we haven't got time to test it. But we will be using this in the future. We'll be using one on the 350 as well. So make sure you are going in the description. Make sure you are getting yours. And make sure you are letting them know how awesome it is. Because it is actually pretty awesome that this can track uh, your vehicle. It, it also does um, track it as well. When So, for example, if somebody's trying to steal something off your car, it does come up and tell you that um, vibrations and stuff is detected. So if you take it to a garage, you will get notified. When the battery is disconnected, you will get notified. You'll get notified of everything. So it is a really good app to have. It's a really good uh, thing to have as well. Even if it is a monthly subscription, the, month, the, the price you're going to pay is nothing considering uh, a lot of cars nowadays are getting stolen. So yeah, it is a pretty good price. So all in all, I'd say that the car lock kit is actually really good. Now we've come back and we've done a little bit more testing. It is later on, so we've done it off camera. And it does actually do a lot more than you think. So it tracks your, your movements. Jack just fell over with the sounds of things. Um, <laughs> it does actually do a lot more things. So it does tell you when there's a vibration detected. We had that earlier. Jack opened the car uh, or moved the car if it rocks. It actually detects that as well. So if you've got a bit of strong winds, it may detect that. So that may not be a good thing. But it's good in the sense of if somebody's jacking your car up, trying to take your wheels or your front bumper, you're going to know about it. So it's a great, great thing, I think, to have um, just to be more secure. So we have got some other bits coming up, like I said, as well. Um, we are doing some bits with Lee Lockwood as well, if you don't know about that. You probably do if you watch his channel. Uh, we're going to be doing a few videos um, either with him or just separate. We'll see. See what's happening. Um, so just make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you guys same time next week, same place. Hopefully we've got some more news on the 350.